All right, this is the big day. This is the big video. If you guys are new to this and you guys want to know how to create a funnel, we're going to create an opt-in funnel inside of this video. However, uh, the same process is used to create webinar funnels or sales funnels or any kind of funnel. And the more that we do this, you'll get more used to the, uh, the concept. A lot of this is learned by trial and error and just creating things and figuring out what works. I'm going to try and demystify as much of that as possible and do it as quickly as possible so that you guys can overcome that challenge up front so that you guys know what you're doing right out of the gate. Uh, like I said in the last video, uh, come up here to funnels. We're going to click on the yellow button, new funnel. And we're going to do, uh, we're going to create an opt-in funnel, but uh, I'm going to show you what these are first. Um, they're basically saying, what do you want to do? So if you want to collect emails, it's going to create an opt-in funnel. If you want to sell your product, it's going to create a sales funnel. Um, and I believe the one that's come straight out of the box is uh, an upsell, possibly an upsell, downsell. We might get into that in another video. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the opt-in and then we're going to build on that with some custom sales pages. Uh, uh, another option, if you want to host a webinar, you can click this. It'll give you some options for building a webinar, which is really cool. We're not going to do those uh, today or on this one. We're going to start out a little bit easier and make sure that you guys, as coaches, are, are set up to do what you guys need to be doing, and that's getting leads. So we're going to create an opt-in page. I want you guys to click on, uh, hopefully you guys have like dual monitors so that you can watch the video here and then on another monitor uh, actually be doing this stuff. If not, just make good mental notes of what's going on and then make sure that you guys do this uh, later. So click on choose here for collect emails. And what we're going to do is you're just going to give your funnel a name. Um, I'm going to call this opt-in test two because I've already made an opt-in test one uh, as I was going through this. Now this is the point where you can select your group tag. So when you click on this, um, all of your different funnels um, as you go continue through this process may have different names. So um, I'm going to categorize this test under testing. So I know that that's not uh, anything like horribly important. It's just me testing things out or, or doing a demo like this. Uh, we're going to bypass that and go straight to build funnel. Uh, so what it's doing now is it's really generating a new funnel and it's going to add that funnel to my uh, to my list here. So, okay, so once you've come over here to this page, this is your funnel. This is what it looks like. But what it's doing, you'll see over here where it says opt-in, it's got a little, uh, like a yield sign with a the exclamation point or whatever that is in there. Um, that's saying that there is no page associated with this particular uh, funnel step in the sequence, okay? So what it's prompting you to do at this point is uh, to select a template or a clean slate, basically, so that you can start building your uh, templates out. Now, up here, you'll notice that there's opt-in pages, sales pages, webinar pages. I'm going to go into those a little bit later because that kind of gets a little bit uh, into the weeds on this. But what I'm going to focus on is your email opt-ins and your thank you pages, okay? Now, when you create an opt-in page and on an opt-in page, people give you information like your name, email address, phone number, etc., um, it has to be submitted using a form. So when you do that, that form information will be sent through and it will be looking. ClickFunnels will look for a, a thank you page or some, some kind of a page, some kind of a follow-up. That being said, your thank you page could be a sales page. It could be a webinar page or a registration page. Uh, but for the sake of what we're doing for this particular uh, presentation, um, this opt-in page We'll submit the form and it will go on to the next page, uh, which is a thank you page, which we're going to set up. So uh, let's just add these in right now. Um, so we have a select template. I'm going to select, uh, let's see, I'm going to select something real simple like this one right here. This is a simple page, so I'm going to select this one. Guys, simple converts better most of the time, okay? So don't worry too much about that. Um, I'm going to leave this one open because I'm going to come back to this in another video. Uh, but uh, let's jump out of this video uh, so that you guys can take a break and we'll go on to the next one. I'll show you guys how the editor works, okay? Uh, thank you. I'll see you guys in the next video.